what you are looking at here is text. Yep, text. Believe it or not, back in the 1980s and 90s, people found a way to make art from text. And they would share this art online, specifically on the electronic bulletin boards of the day. This episode of Back to the BBS talks about how art is made from text, the various art types, about what this art scene is like today, as well as what it was like in the past. This episode also meets some of the people and art groups and shows you how you can get involved too. My name is Willie Novak. I am known as Melfar Superstar. I'm an ANSI artist. You don't know me, but I am a member of Acid Incorporated. Uh, it was known for very exciting ANSI artwork as the first crew to make a tradition of monthly art pack um, releases or acquisition updates, as they like to call them. My name is Ivan Segerich. My nickname is AVG and I am co-founder of Blocktronics. And we pretty much just draw ANSI, that's all we do. Yeah, we started in 2008, um, probably around the time social media started to come up. But as you said, the scene kind of died away, but then Blocktronics has now become one of the most influential ANSI groups of the modern day. Why did you and Enzo decide to get together and make this form of art come back to life again? Um, I think one, the most important thing is that we just gen we genuinely loved doing it. Um, you know, even when, you know, prior to, to Blocktronics, we were drawing just to draw. You guys in 2013 did um, a phenomenal piece of work called Acid Trip in that year. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that was a good pack. Yeah. You want to tell me a little bit about the inspiration? Is there a particular story behind that one? Or... Okay. Uh, I think there was a few things. So, the Acid Trip, I think that theme was set by the Creep Fever. Um, we would generally sort of throw theme ideas out. I think that keeps people interested um, and it, it keeps people fresh. Um, so you're not drawing the same thing over and over again. But um, I'm pretty sure Aaron, the Creep Fever, came up with that theme and I think it, it was a, a dedication to the um, Acid Art Group and Radman. Um, I think it was the first pack that we actually got um, Radman to coordinate. I remember a lot of good things coming from that pack. And, and again, it was packs like that, that pushed one, like it pushed us to sort of just go further with, with the medium. My name is Doug Moore. I go by Lord Scarlet online. The process of actually creating an ANSI um, you know, for some people, especially the people who have never actually got down to the process of drawing an ANSI, what is that process actually like? How do you, how do you actually go about creating this art? There, there was a time when people manually put in the color codes and typed it, but pretty soon, starting with the draw, there were editors to do a lot of the hard work for you, or at least the tedious part. My name is Jeff Porcrit. I go by the pseudonym Blackjack. I think every ASCII artist has a set of characters that they use when they draw. I know I certainly have a style. If you see an ASCII that uses a lot of the characters that I use, you might be able to guess that I drew that, that piece. I think every ASCII artist has 
a set of characters that they use when they draw. I know I certainly have a style. If you see an ASCII that uses a lot of the characters that I use, you might be able to guess that I drew that, that piece. Um, for me, um, 15, I'm known as odd in the art scene. Well, if you, like, if ANSI art interests you, then check out the 16C website, 16 Colors. I created 16 Colors around 2004. 16 Colors is an ANSI and ASCII art gallery. Look, I've wasted a lot of years doing ANSI art, but I've made a lot of friendships along the way. Um, I been able to be very creative through it. It has been very rewarding and, and Blocktronics has given me um, you know, the opportunity to meet um, and speak with a lot of like-minded people. Um, people that Some people that I've never met before, but um, you know, I feel close to them than people that I know in the real world. Um, and I think that is very rare, very special.